Hi everyone, I hope you're having a great day. I hope you're someplace where it's warm and dry. Uh, they're making progress on the roof. I just thought I'd uh, give you a little glimpse of that. Uh, they're in the home stretch now. Uh, won't be much work done up there today though. Uh, come back and join me in a moment. I don't know if you can hear that, uh, that sound, the rain on the roof. Uh, so I thought it would be wise to uh, join you from inside the car today. Uh, so here I am in the back lot uh, and uh, I just thought I'd share with you uh, from here inside the car today uh, rather than standing out and getting wet. Emmett and Amuna, they could easily be the names of twin brothers. Uh, they're two Hebrew words that are synonyms. Uh, they share a, a similar, uh, similar definition. And they're used uh, various places throughout uh, the Old Testament to remind us of a, a strong truth. Uh, as part of my uh, post-COVID journey, I have been uh, encouraged to uh, learn some, some words along the way. Uh, words are uh, little bits of information and I think it's helpful for our minds uh, to, uh, to challenge them with uh, learning new words. Emmett and Amuna, no, they're not twin brothers. Uh, they are, uh, uh, they're words used in the Old Testament to describe faithfulness or that which is true. And so uh, uh, to help us to understand that, I brought along the uh, uh, Lufkin 16-meter uh, uh, measuring tape. And if you, uh, uh, sorry, it's a 16-foot, 5-meter uh, measuring tape. Uh, and uh, in a sense, this is an example of Emmett and Amuna. It's true. You pull it out and it gives you two inches every time that you pull it out and uh, put it down. It's a standard by which uh, we can uh, do, re do things reliably. Uh, it's steady. Uh, the word that's often used to translate it uh, in the Bible is faithful. Our Lord is the one who is faithful. Uh, the word is used to, to apply to uh, people uh, throughout the Bible, but for the most part, it is used to describe who our God is. He is faithful. And so I can extend that along into a great example in uh, the New Testament. In 2 Timothy, in uh, chapter 2, right near the end of the chapter, there, uh, there are some uh, words that have a, a strong lyric quality to them. They sound like uh, the words of a song, in fact, and uh, the, uh, the guess is, is that uh, they were words from a, uh, a hymn that had become uh, uh, popular with, uh, within the churches there where, uh, where Timothy was serving. And Paul, as he's reminding him of uh, the great truth, he says, here is a trustworthy saying. And then as the inspiration of the Holy Spirit, he quotes those uh, words of, of the hymn and uh, includes them into uh, the sacred scripture and he says uh, in the concluding of those uh, those words we are faithless our lord is faithful uh, for him to not be faithful would go contrary to uh, who he is that he cannot deny himself i think that's a strong reminder for us that god cannot deny himself uh, God is who he is. He is faithful and true. He is the pure and righteous and holy standard of truth. And uh, he sets for us what is true. And uh, the nice thing about something that is true is that it's true at all times and in all circumstances. Two inches on my measuring tape is always two inches, no matter what. Doesn't matter how I'm feeling or doesn't matter if the rain is coming down on my head. Two inches is still two inches. And it doesn't matter how I'm feeling or if the rain is coming down on my head. God is still God. He is still faithful and true. He is faithful to us each and every day. So even though at times we are faithless, he is faithful because he cannot deny who he is. Well, I hope you're having a great day wherever you are. Just uh, one reminder for you before I go. Uh, don't forget that uh, the the road between here and Ormocto is going to be temporarily closed. Uh, the suggestion is that it'll be about 10 days of closure. Uh, we'll see how long that turns into. 
but uh, there's a uh, culvert that's uh, broken uh, down uh, between uh, New Road and uh, Smith Road, so that has to be torn out. So the Broad Road will be closed uh, starting January 11th. Uh, so if you're uh, coming from uh, that side of Gary or Omukto, uh you need to drive around in order to come uh, join us. And if you're trying to uh, get from here uh, to Oromocto, uh, make sure you drive around. So that's uh, out uh, to the end of uh, the Broad Road extension. Get on to Highway 7, and that will take you into Oromocto, and uh, vice versa. If you're coming uh, here, uh, you get on uh, the Trans-Canada Highway, uh, leaving from Gateway uh, exit there at 303, and uh, come and take the St. John exit, come down Route 7, as far as the uh, the exit off of Route 7 marked for Gary, and then come in Broad Road right here uh, to uh, Gary Baptist Church. I hope to see you, and uh, God bless you.